Hey, my name is Ashton. If you've never come to my channel before, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about the number one myth that I hear about transition, that I heard about transition when I started, that I still hear about transition that we got to unpack. The biggest myth that I hear is that physically transitioning, the physical aspects of transitioning, is what's going to equate to sustained happiness. Stay with me here. Please stay with me here. Physical transitioning for me was the catalyst for sustained happiness. It was not the reason for my sustained happiness. A lot of people, myself included, they begin transitioning thinking that the physical aspects of transition, once they get those changes, then they're going to be happy and it's going to sustain them long term. I've been transitioning since 2012 and I can tell you that physically transitioning and all the changes, they were just the first step. They were just one single aspect of this alignment of body, mind, soul, spirit. It was just one section of all the aspects that it takes to sustain you long term. Physical transition, I am not downplaying the value of it at all. It is so critical. It is, for me, it was life changing. It was completely life changing. It was life saving. It still is life saving. I am so much happier now because I've had the ability to have the physical changes but like i said they were the the beautiful sun is coming out as i'm talking about this but they were the catalyst they were just the beginning for this journey of what it takes to have sustained long-term beautiful happiness in my life the questions we should be asking ourselves along the way of transitioning is not just what is the next surgery i'm going to get what is the next dose of hormones i'm going to take it should be, what does sustained happiness look like for me? What does it look like to find my purpose beyond the physical aspects of transitioning? And what does it look like to connect with something bigger than myself? Whether that's for you, humanity, and you have a faith in the human spirit. Whether that's you believe in love, and that love is the highest thing that exists, whether you believe in the universe, whether you believe in synchronicity, whether you believe in God, it really doesn't matter. But you do have to, whether you believe in science, let's just say you believe in science and you think all of what I just said is a lot of like mumbo jumbo and when I say spirituality, you kind of freak out and you're like, what? Like connecting to something spiritual, that's like kind of nonsense to me. Okay, on a quantum physical level, I would not exist here. My molecules literally would not stay connected to each other. They wouldn't have a consciousness. They wouldn't have any of that. Like, literally on a f quantum physical level, they wouldn't exist if there was not something in nature or something that, like on a molecular level is literally keeping my atoms together and allowing me to have consciousness in a body. So believe in that, but it's bigger than you because everybody in this world has it. It's finding something that, you know, some people call that God. Some people call that love. Some people call that divine fate, whatever. It doesn't matter. But find whatever thing, whatever purpose is bigger than just um, these initial physical changes and lean into that. Ask those beautiful questions. Why am I transgender? Why am I in this body right now at this time, especially when there's all these issues going on with the transgender community? Question these things and maybe you'll be like me and find that you like my experience, I wanted to be stealth. I didn't want anybody to know that was my was transgender. And then now look at me, I'm a full-time community educator and this is where I found my purpose. And it's about finding your purpose and the gifts that you have to bring to the world and connecting to that for me looks like meditating, turning inward, connecting to my breath, connecting to why I'm here in this moment, 
forgiving my body for all the things that I want it to be that it's not, forgiving my body for what it was. It looks like doing yoga to connect to my breath and the movement of my beautiful body. It looks like sending so much love and reflecting the love that I seek to find in other, in other people, whether it's friendships and family members, whether it's in romantic relationships. It's about recognizing you're in a relationship with yourself, so the love that you expect or are seeking in other people, it's reflecting it to yourself. It's saying, hey, I love you, you're freaking awesome. Let me mirror this love to you and I will be able to easier recognize it in other people. Sustained happiness looks like so many different things, but those are just a few little snippets of what sustained happiness for me looks like as it is right now beyond physical transitioning and if you're vibing what i'm vibing and you want to talk more about this myth i think there's some really awesome people that are subscribed to this channel that are down with things like the meditation for gender dysphoria videos that i've posted talking more about the spiritual aspects of transitioning because we're rad we're consciousness in a body let's talk about that transcending gender, trans transcending the body, all that. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Don't get too heady with this. You can follow my Instagram and let's talk more there. I post pretty often. My Twitter, Facebook, email, Tumblr, all that will be, will be below. I love each and every single one of you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay awesome. Stay true to yourself because you're rad as you are right now. Regardless of any changes you want to have happen in the future, you're awesome and amazing exactly as you are. So, peace. Stay awesome.